Hello everybody and welcome to an exciting or perhaps frustrating weekend of special offers. The first one is the anticipated Love Divines in the Horns of Plenty. You can win them in the Hearts UFO fight if you rank high enough, but if you're not counting on ranking high enough, then you can open up Horns of Plenty to find them. Like last year, it is your choice of which Love Divine that you pick, but there are two new ones this year that I really quite like the design of and I already have all of the old ones in the set. Um, these do have have a little bit more clothing and apparel on them than the others do, even more so than any of the other div divines that we have. But I still really like the design of these love divines, especially this one here in the front. That one's really pretty, so I'd really like to complete the set. Also, for the piece de resistance, we have Baleos in the horn or er, er, in the Titans Challenge. I wish he was in the Horns of Plenty. Uh, from what I've heard, players are getting between nine and seventeen dust for him, so this is going to be expensive probably between 50 or 80 something Titans challenges that you'd have to open. It's quite a bit. I have been anticipating another chance to win him because I did win him last year. However, I didn't actually expect him until March because that was the month that we've been able to open up Titans challenges to get him for the past two years. And even with scrolling away my resources, I don't have enough if he's going to take 80 Titans challenges to max out that meter and and if I don't get him on level seven I'm gonna think about him because I just don't know if I want to risk it I have a, enough for probably 50 titans challenges I think but I don't have enough for 80 and even if it will take about 50 or something, if I'm going to have to max the meter, I'm going to have to touch my passes, which I didn't want to do because I still haven't yet renewed VIP. But anyway, I'm just, I'm going to think about him for now. Today, I am just going to open up Horns of Plenty for the Love Divines. And if I do try for Baleos, I'll have that up either tomorrow or maybe on Sunday. So let's go ahead and get started with these Horns of Plenty. I'm only going to use the Horns of Plenty that I have in stock because if I do plan on going for Baleos, I don't want to use any of my passes on the Love Divines, any of my staff, any of my Nyx Pack Themis scales. What I am limited to are these 27 Horns of Plenty. Let's get started. I would really like to get both of them. All right, open up the Horn of Plenty. I got 38 Divine Dust. From what I've heard, you can max out the meter to get uh, just one Love Divine, but you can't use the meter for getting any more or whatever. So if you are trying for both of the new Love Divines or any of the other ones that you're missing, the Dust Meter can only be applied to the first one. I think this is my third hop so far. <laughs> Again, like usual, I can't keep track as I'm going. So I think this is the fourth one. I have only gotten a Fility Stroke for my troubles. Again, no black market item. And I don't think, um, let me check my daily objectives real quick. I'm not really sure if I'll get the hop. So I could get the hop. Would that technically be on Sunday, day after tomorrow? I think so. So I could get the hop from the meter too, so long as I complete all of my daily objectives up until then. I've already lost track on how many hops I've opened. Fifth, hey, I got a hop in a hop. So this will be, I'm just going to say this is my sixth one so far this one and still nothing and I have not gotten any good black market items. I only got that Philidy Stark which is terrible. I got a Harmony pack. That's definitely worth it. Ugh, are these going to be expensive? I did really well last year. I got a Philosopher's Stone. That one's really good. I did do well last year when I was opening hops for these. I don't quite remember how many it took though. This is Lightning Bolt. That's good. I could probably exchange that for a hop I bet. Uh, Morpheus's arms. That's really awesome. I could get three golden apples for that. I'm happy. I still want these love divines. Uh, Helios Ray. All right. We're probably going to have to max the meter for this. This is awful. I don't know if I'm, I'd rather have the divine over those one black market items. And some of these other hops are absolutely terrible. Plutus's parchment. I don't need those. I don't want Plutus's parchments anymore because since I'm not working pass horses anymore, my manure pile is going down the drain and I'm not able to give, I'm not feeding my plant divines as much manure as I used to. I've only been giving, I only feed Sequoia now uh, on spring and summer because that's when you get the most skill points for them. All right, Fertility Wand, this is getting really bad, guys. I've got 10 left and I have to use the meter to get one of these Love Divines. I was hoping I would have some leftover Horns of Plenty in stock that I could use maybe to trade to get Titan's Challenges. 
Maybe somebody has Titan's challenges that they don't want to waste on Balios and they'd rather get hops or something that they could use to get these love divines. So there's my first love divine that took quite a few hops. Took 18, I believe, if I counted that right. Maybe because I did get that one hop within a hop. So maybe it was only 17. Not really sure. So let's go ahead and get this one. I am going to, which one did I, oh, how do I pick here? Okay, I think I have to go to my private messages. So I'm going to do that real quick and I will be right back. Okay, so what happens, you open up the private message that you get from Horse after you max out the dust meter. It gives you a link to this page where you go to select which divine that you want. I like Tiamo over the two new ones. I think, is this one over here, the Polish one? I believe, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. I'd have to look that up later. But I really like this guy. This one is my favorite, probably out of all of him. I think he's absolutely beautiful. So we're gonna confirm that selection. Yes, I do want Tiamo. So I've got one of them. Let's try the next one. I've only got nine horns of plenty left. Please, I would like to get the second one. Uh, that's not good. And I forgot I'm not going to get dust for the second one. There's two. Oh, <laughs> I got it with two more. I have heard of a few other players who were managing to get the second one that they needed after another two hops. Not sure how standard that is. Let me know if you are trying for both, how many uh, more hops after you already maxed out the dust meter or whatever. Just, just let me know how many hops you had to go to to get the second one that you needed. So let's go to that other page again. So I'm going to choose the one that I'm missing, which is this one here. This one's really handsome too. I like how um, shiny and highlighted his wings are. He's really nice. Tiamo is still my favorite. So I'm going to choose this one and there we go. That completes my Love Divine collection. How many Horns of Plenty do I have? I have seven left. As you can see, I have been scrolling away Titan's Challenges. I have 17 Titan's Challenges alone and then I have a... Uh, three Nyx pack Themis of Scale combos. I actually have four Themis of Scales, but only three Nyx packs to use. So technically I've only got three to get some more Titans challenges for Balios. But I'm not sure if I want to keep opening up Horns of Plenty to try to get more Love Divines or try to um, put them in the exchanges to get Titans challenges for Balios. I think what I'll do for like the next day because I think I'll wait and try for Balios tomorrow because I'm leaning towards trying for him. What I'm going to do until then, I'm going to try to put my Horns of Plenty up in the exchanges to get Titan's Challenges. And then if those do not go through, I'll just use whatever Horns of Plenty I have left to open up more Horns of Plenty to get Love Divines. And the reason why I'm going to try for more is that these Divines give you actual passes which now that we don't have pass horses I'm desperately in need of and actually if we still have pass horses I wouldn't have a problem going trying for Balios and Titans challenges because I would definitely have enough but anyway that's that's water under the bridge so I think that's what my plan is going to be I'll try to exchange to get some more Titans challenges if I still have Horns of Plenty left over, those exchanges don't go through, then I will open up some more Horns of Plenty to get, a, hopefully get another Love Divine or two. I'd really like to try for this Divine here that's available in the Golden Fleeces, but uh, with Balios being offered this weekend, I can't spare anything for this horse, even though I think he's absolutely gorgeous. I think this is a Celtic divine, isn't it? I'm getting really off track here from where we originally started. I think this is a, what is this? This is a Celt, this is a Celtic divine. I really like the Celtics. So my, my other option here is that, like I said, I'm leaning towards trying for Balios. I go for him. If I have any resources left over, hopefully I'll have Nyx Pack Themis' scale combos. You know, maybe I can get Balios within those 17 Titans challenges that I have, and then I can use those Nyx Pack Themis' scale combos to get Golden Fleeces to get this Celtic Divine here, because he is really pretty, and he gives you a nice gift, which is a Harris Pack, which I really like. So that's my plan for the weekend. Let me know how you guys did in trying to get any Love Divines. Were you just trying to complete the set? Are you trying to get any repeats like I am because these are a really nice divine to get. It's a guaranteed drop rate to get 20 passes once a month. So let me know how you guys are doing and I will talk to you soon. Bye!